Right, this is going to be a quick review on my iBig Boy 2. It's basically an iPod dock speaker. Um, it's got a dock at the top, got RCAs at the back, which I've got a Music Fidelity DAC going into on the RCAs on the back, which then run my TV, Virgin Media Box, my PlayStation, my Xbox. Then um, on the top, you've got this iPod dock with touch screen flashing away there basically instead of using an iPod or an iPhone because I haven't got either I Bluetooth it from my phone or my tablet so basically what we're going to do now play a few tunes see what you think from my phone
just a quick rundown on the product. You've got a real wood front, real wood back. On the sides, you've got curved aluminium. On the top, you've got two five inch uh, mid range, which are carbon fibre, two tweeters in the middle. And on the bottom, you've got a 10 inch subwoofer, which is carbon fibre too. I'm using a clearer audio uh, power lead on it, which was £80, improved the sound quality tenfold as well. Uh, plus with the Music Fidelity DAC, doing the optical side of things into RCAs, it gives you the option to use your PlayStation and Xbox for it as well. Um, overall it's 200 watts RMS, uh, 500 watts peak. You can get it on Amazon for 359, which is the 2013 version, which has Bluetooth built in. So you can have Bluetooth built in with a Bluetooth dongle as well on top. Or you can just use an iPhone 4S, not the 5, or an iPod on top. Overall, I think for value for money, you ain't going to find nothing for an iPod or an iPhone for about £1,000, as good as this. It is really basic, it's one of the best speakers I've brought for an actual side system because obviously I've got a big system as well and I recommend this tenfold so get your asses out there and buy one. Laders peeps.